a maelstrom of sand, wind, and fire, our people emerge and arrive here. A new world, one ripe with great possibility and even greater dangers. Here our people stand, their destinies unwritten. Will they push forward into greatness? Or see themselves lost to the ages? Their fate lies in your hands. From the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest, from this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. There will be those who underestimate you, but you are cunning and full of tricks, Queen Cleopatra. Your charm, will establish indestructible alliances with the strongest leaders of the world. Keep your friends close by your side and you will find yourself untouchable with the glory of Egypt primed to win over the world. Welcome, Cleopatra. Our people's fate lies in your hands. Great is the responsibility placed upon you. Perhaps I may be of service. For too long we have roamed this world without a land to call our own. It is time we put down roots. Our brave settlers await your command. We should found our first city here. From the seeds of the small city shall you grow an empire. But to truly thrive, we must first see to the needs of our people. Though small now, our city will continue to grow if you allow it to. Its fate and that of our people depend upon you. We are fortunate that the land surrounding our city is rich in resources. Developing it will be key to our survival. We are blessed to have such bountiful lands within our borders. Still, a civilization is comprised of people, not just Earth.
Such lands will surely draw the attention of the barbarian raiders plaguing this area. We must prepare to fight back if we are to survive. Our city requires warriors. If our people are to survive in these lands, we must focus their efforts. Only then can we master this world. Our people's protection is our utmost concern. Direct your city towards the creation of a warrior. Training has commenced. Already our people feel more secure. Our empire will not be built overnight. We have accomplished all we can this day. Our warriors continue to train. But if we are to be more than the barbarian tribes we defend against, we must explore other areas of development. There are those among us with minds adept and unlocking the world's secrets. We need only guide them. Excellent. As our people's understanding of the Earth increases, so too will our ability to harness its riches and increase our production capabilities. We must give them time to do their work. Barbarian raiders approach our city. We are surely too prize a target for them to ignore. We cannot allow these savages to pillage and destroy all we have built. Our warriors have completed their training. Let us commit them to battle. Warriors are the blade with which we will strike down our enemy. They need only your hand to guide them. Victory! The barbarians have learned we are not a people to be trifled with. Still, they will return, and next time I fear they will not take us so lightly. We should take advantage of this lull in hostilities. With our warriors now prepared, we may focus our production capabilities towards the city itself. The lands surrounding our city are fertile. 
Yet as of now, they lie undeveloped. We must create a workforce if we are to make the most of the resources within our borders. Excellent. The skills these builders will attain will dramatically improve our civilization. While our builders train to improve life within our borders, we must not ignore the lands beyond them. The only way to truly master this world is to understand it. Beyond combat, our warriors make for ideal explorers in this uncertain and hostile world. You need only give the word and they shall set forth into the unknown. Alone, on foot, the wildlands take a heavy toll on our troops. Perhaps there is a smoother path. Already our warriors' efforts bear fruit. They have come upon a small tribal village. This people seem different from the barbarian tribes we encountered. Perhaps we should make contact instead of combat. Our warriors stand before the village gates. They await your command to enter. It would seem friendship has its rewards. Our success against the barbarians has reached this village. Impressed by our culture, they wish to rise up against their oppressors and join us in the fight against the Horde. Though not skilled in the ways of combat, this tribe possess a great knowledge of the land. Their ability to move through the terrain quickly makes them ideal scouts. We should put them to good use. We should employ these scouts with caution. They are excellent explorers, but poor warriors. It would be wise for them to avoid battle whenever possible.
Exploration may bring many rewards, but let us not forget the safety of our capital. We should direct our warriors home for its protection. Our scouts await orders. They must explore and teach us about new lands yet undiscovered. Our city continues to prosper. Already our people thrive and our population grows. There are no further matters to attend to today. While our forces prepare the defense of our city, our best minds have discovered how to extract precious resources from the earth itself. With an abundance of valuable stone nearby, our builders may be able to exploit this knowledge when they complete their training. Our people delight in the pursuit of knowledge. We need only direct their efforts, and they shall uncover yet another mystery of this world. A wise decision. Our people may now uncover new uses for the materials we unearth in our mines and quarries. But let us not forget the exploration efforts of our scouts. There is a whole world before us to uncover. Our citizens rejoice at the return of our brave warriors. Perhaps they should fortify their position to defend against the barbarian threat. Excellent. With our warriors entrenched in their positions, our people are secure. It would be wise to maintain this advantage for as long as possible.
our scouts continue to push onwards, let us turn inwards to our own capital. As our city grows, so too does our people's hunger. Our builders now stand ready. Constructing a farm on fertile lands within our city will increase our yield and better feed our people. These plains possess rich soil, an ideal spot to plant our first crops. Excellent. With their stomachs full, our people prosper, and our population shall only grow. But remember, our builder's strength is not infinite. We would be wise to make the best use of their talents before exhausting them. With their basic needs met, our people now have the capability to construct more elaborate structures Perhaps a monument to all they have accomplished will inspire them to evolve even further. Excellent. As pride in their own culture grows, our people shall be driven to spread our civilization beyond their own borders. Now that our people are fed, let us turn our builders' attention elsewhere. There are valuable resources surrounding our city that have yet to be exploited. direct the efforts of our builders towards harnessing these valuable materials. Excellent. 
This stone we extract from this quarry will only increase our production capabilities. With our quarry now complete, we must turn our builders' attention towards additional improvements. There is still valuable land within our borders. We must guide their hands carefully. Our people truly thrive under your guidance. But as our civilization grows, so too must our leadership. We must now enact policies to better steer the growth of our people. Discipline is the heart of any army and is a valuable advantage over the unorganized barbarian rabble. Urban planning will only make our cities more organized and efficient. I suggest we enact both these policies.
Although our policies begin to bear fruit, our civilization will only continue to grow. We must plan for the future. It would seem we have finally tracked the barbarian raiders plaguing these lands to their source. We must destroy the stronghold or risk future attacks. Still might I advise caution. Though primitive and savage, these barbarians are fierce warriors and their camp is heavily defended. To ensure victory, we must attack with overwhelming force. blessed. This monument stands as a symbol of the accomplishments and determination of our people. Truly they shall now be inspired to push even further into the lands beyond. Perhaps we are now ready to spread our civilization beyond our capital city. If we do not claim the surrounding territory, others surely will. Excellent. These brave settlers are ready to carry our culture into the unknown. However, it will take some time before they are prepared for the journey that awaits them.
With knowledge comes opportunity. As our people's understanding of this world grows, new paths present themselves to us. Our legacy will one day be recorded beyond the spoken word. Settlers have finished preparations and await your command. However, the lands before them possess untold dangers. We must not allow them to go forth without protection. Excellent. With our people prepared, we must now choose our destination. There is an area rich in resources, not far from the capital. Let us send our settlers there. Though our settlers are safe under the protection of our warriors, our capital is now defenseless. Without the protection of the military, we will most surely become overrun by our enemies.
Though our warriors are valiant, a proper fighting force must be diversified. Slingers provide a different style of combat. Order our people to take root here. Well done. Our civilization continues to spread beyond expectation. In time, it may rival even our own capital. Already, this new city yearns to grow. Its people await your guidance. Here's our slingers have completed their training. Already the people of our city feel safer.
as our army continues to diversify and improve, our future grows even more secure. With our Slinger's training complete, we may now direct our people's efforts to new pursuits.
With writing, we unify our people. A common written language allows ideas to flourish and our collective knowledge to grow. Were we to provide a place to collect and share this knowledge, our people would surely prosper. A good city can become a great city through careful planning. Deciding where to place a city district is an important decision. Be sure to pick a location best suited for the district to reap the most benefit. Already, the greatest minds in our civilization eagerly await the completion of this campus. But we must not allow these great thinkers to be idle. Let us turn their attention elsewhere. Gilgamesha Kiengi, U Sharuru Kanaku. Latadar, Anaku i Brija Tibaku. Resources and land are not infinite. It seems we now have competition. 
As we do not yet know the true intention of this people, might I suggest we proceed with caution? Thank you. 